What's up you guys, you're watching Sergio's Secret. Before I get started with today's video, if you can please give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe button, I post a video on contemporary and designer fashion Monday through Friday, so make sure to subscribe so you never miss any one of my uploads. And then sometimes on Saturdays and Sundays, I sprinkle in a, maybe an extra bonus video. So I want you guys to be part of this channel and see my channel grow. Uh, first off, I want to say thank you, thank you so much for the new subscribers. I've been getting a lot of new subscribers on my channel, so I want to uh, say thank you, thank you so much for joining. and hopefully you love the content that I'll be putting on forward and that I already have on my channel and today we're gonna to be talking about Burberry handbags so I'll leave the links for pre-love Burberry which is gonna be through fashion file one of my favorite pre-love websites that's where I get a lot of my items that are pre-love designer and I'll leave the actual handbags lines that I'm talking about linked down below as well and before we get started I also want to bring this little blueberry trench coat you're listening Sergio did you just say blueberry Yes, honey, I did not say that for a mistake. I'm gonna give you a story of story time. Growing up, I remember one time, one of Christmases, my mom wanted something from Burberry. I remember my dad had asked me, my brother, he was like, tu mamá quiere algo de una marca que se llama Blueberry, uh, como el teléfono, cause you know, like Blackberry, Blueberry, and um, no, he meant to talk about Burberry. So um, that's always kind of a butt of a joke. Every time I wear Burberry, or my brother, or my dad, or anybody wears Burberry, we always kind of think about my dad calling it Blueberry. He would always, always call it Blueberry. So it's kind of the butt of the joke now. So every time I wear something like this, my dad's like, ugh, you're wearing Blueberry. So I decided to share it with you. I thought it was so funny. I decided to give the Burberry for TJ Maxx Fantasy. Who remembers this trench coat that I got? The last time I really wore it out was at the City Girls concert. Was living that fantasy. Girl, I even brought out this little Burberry lip balm that I've had for like two years. And yeah, so I'm giving the girls a little bit of a Burberry moment because why not? We're talking about Burberry handbags after all. So I decided this would fit the occasion and I'm wearing a little bit of a written bodysuit, one of my favorite bodysuits. So Sergio, you've been talking too much, so let's go ahead and get started. I think that Burberry handbags are worth the money or they're not worth the money. Um, I'm gonna be straight up with you in this video. I don't think Burberry handbags are really worth the money as of right now. When you think of Burberry, what do you think of? I think of their iconic trench coat. I think of their fragrances. I think of their iconic scarves and soft accessories. And I think more of their clothing and shoes more than I would ever think of handbags or their makeup line um i just feel like right now burberry is kind of hard to establish themselves as a handbag brand obviously burberry is a well-known brand everybody knows it it's a worldwide brand there's stores all over the world here in dallas there's houston uh, mexico canada europe asia um and everywhere all over the world so burberry it really is a recognizable brand and when you do wear this print without even saying burberry um you know that it's burberry this nova check is very very iconic and i would never ever ever take that away from me. i always get dms sergio what do you think about burberry bags do you like them do you not like them i got this for my birthday i'm planning to have this on my wish list i really want to hear your honest thoughts and your opinions on burberry handbags me the reason why i don't really care for burberry handbags is because they change their styles very, 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 very frequently. If you don't know, Ricardo Tishi used to be the creative director for Givenchy and now the creative director for Burberry. And the creative director before Ricardo Tishi was Christopher Bailey. And so whenever Ricardo Tishi was entering, they discontinued a lot of Christopher Bailey's items that he did for Burberry, a lot of handbags, a lot of coats, just they just did a full revamp on the brand. And I can really respect that and I can see that. But for me, if I'm purchasing a handbag, I want to make sure there's some sort of a core line that I can enjoy from that brand and that I can love and treasure. And for the longest for Burberry, they're kind of iconic bag that I would personally call for the brand. There's only one bag that I would call iconic and that I can look at this bag from 20 years from now and I know the name of it. And it's going to be the Burberry Banner Bag. So the Burberry Banner Bag, when it debuted, I'm, I'm not really sure the year. I believe 2015. I could be totally wrong. Could be a little bit before, a little bit after. You guys can correct me down below. But when the Burberry Banner Bag came out, me starting to get into fashion, I've always liked the Burberry Banner Bag. They had them in small sizes and bigger bags and so many colors, so many variations, and I always felt like a very clean cut, classic looking handbag. I feel like you can never go wrong with it. I love that it has leather. I love that you can pick whatever color, but on the sides, it has a little bit of the Nova check on it, and then I can kind of, um, you know, I can get away with wearing other items since the Nova check is on the sides. I can kind of incorporate the Burberry Nova check, but without being too much. 
and for me i feel like that was a very iconic handbag for the burberry and that was one that i was considering so when the ricardo tissue took over and they basically got rid of all the bag i know that the burberry banner bag did get replaced by the title bag which is this one which we'll talk about in a second like it just kind of gave it kind of like a ricardo tissue givenchy look i feel like a lot of the things have very givenchy vibes in the new burberry do not get me wrong i love burberry i would not be here wearing a burberry trench coat and i have quite a bit of burberry ready to wear in my collection i always get asked what do you have from burberry i just have one burberry scarf and a few burberry ready to wear pieces this one being the most loud one um i will say i do enjoy burberry ready to wear i really 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 like burberry clothing but as far as everything else uh, it's very kind of hit or miss i also like their fragrance and uh, when they were more core in their beauty line i also like that as well but other than that i only for me i only really check burberry for their soft accessories so it's gonna be like their umbrellas their little cute socks like their scarves like stuff like that i'll check for their charms and their clothing for men or women but other than that i don't really really check for burberry um uh, for like even their shoes or their handbags continued that i just i just didn't like it kind of turned me off for me like I said, I feel like if a brand does go through a revamp and they kind of, you know, change around, I can see maybe if they change the banner back, had a certain uh, font of Burberry, I can see if they change that and they can give it a different look. Because I know the banner bag has had kind of like different styles. It originally looked like this. And I feel like up to like a year before everything really took official, it looked like this. And then now it's the title bag. And... For me, I just wish that Burberry had one core line that they mod that they really didn't modify or that they modified just like a little bit like Celine. So whenever it was Celine with a little E on top, but now new Celine just and the new Celine is just all Celine caps with nothing special to it. I, I can see that because it's still the same silhouette of a handbag. It's still classic. It's still core on the luggages. And, you know, they discontinued a few bags from Celine, but at least they have that one luggage that you can always go for. So, for me, the problem that I have with Burberry, and this also may be just myself, I'm a very core person. Yes, I love to have fun with items and stuff, and I'm just now starting going out of my comfort zone and starting to purchase things that aren't super, super basic or super, super core or things are, are on replenishment style. So, replenishment style are things that are always going to be in stock Think about like a Troy Birch Miller sandal. Think about a Louis Vuitton Speedy. Uh, think about an Hermes Birkin. Those are things that will always be there that are replenished in styles. Once they sell out or once they sell through them, they will always have more because it's one of their bread and butter. A Makeup Forever foundation. You know, they may modify it a little bit, but it's always, always, always going to be there. So my problem with Burberry bags, I just wish that they had more of a replenishment and classic style that they hardly modified within like, like I can see if they modify maybe every five to six years, but to kind of go through this change very drastically from like the Burberry bags, like if you look from 2010 to, to right now, 2021, their collections have gradually changed. Obviously style and everything has evolved, but I would like for it to be kind of the same aesthetic or to kind of gradually move to a different aesthetic. But for whenever Christopher Bailey and Ricardo Tishi, that was just a complete revamp of the brand. I will say I do like a lot of the new items, but not enough for me to buy a Burberry handbag just because I rather bought my Saint Laurent cape bag. I'm not gonna lie, one of the bags that I did consider was a small Burberry banner bag. Like I said, I've always been a fan of the Burberry banner bag. For example, I have this Saint Laurent cape bag. Whenever I was first buying my first kind of big designer bag, I had a lot of bags on my list. I had this one, the Saint Laurent Lulu. I had the Burberry banner bag and I'm so glad that I didn't go for the Burberry banner bag because it would have gone discontinued and I really would have been upset. You know, some people may say buy what you love, you shouldn't care about if it's replenishment. Well, for me, it does matter because back then I didn't know when my next designer handbag purchase would have been and it was a, it was a while before I got to have another designer handbag or even another handbag in general into my collection. So for me, it did matter. So I can see different aspects. That's kind of be like my thoughts is I don't love it enough and the style changes just too frequently for me to go in and buy a Burberry bag. I'll talk about some of the current lines that they have. I'll give you my thoughts and my opinions and then I kind of want to give you the resale value and how that kind of reflects and how that could, should, should determine your purchase if you go pre-loved or should you go new. So I'm on the Burberry website and I'm looking at their handbags and I'm looking at their side where it says signature handbag. So in the signature handbags, we have the Olympia bag, we have the pocket bag, the Lola bag, the title bag the TV bag so we're gonna look at the Olympia bag first so this is what the Olympia bag looks like 
It has quite a bit of an interesting design. It's definitely something different for Burberry. The small one comes in at $17.90 and you have a medium one that's going to be at $20.90. And for me, as much as I love this bag, it's too much of a trendy bag. I see this bag really getting discontinued. And for me, like I said, Burberry is not really known as big of a handbag brand. Like I don't really think of Burberry for their handbags. You know, Saint Laurent can get away with doing a bag like this in this exact same silhouette. And if they put Saint Laurent and maybe modified it a little bit because the entire brand of Saint Laurent is very classic and is very sophisticated versus the Burberry brand for me is kind of always all over the place every couple of years. Like I said, maybe this could change. Maybe this is their final thing. They're going to stick with these items. But I mean, what I've seen in the past, I really don't think so. Um, the next bag is going to be the pocket bag. The pocket bag was one of their main or one of their first kind of influencer bags where I did see people get gifted this bag. Uh, Bella Hadid was the face of this handbag, I believe. Um, this one was a really big push bag. I believe like in August and September. It has a little bit of a top handle, has a little bit of flap. For me, um, it is a little bit more on a lower price point. You can get the classic mini two-tone canvas leather pocket bag for $11.90 and I do think that this is a pretty great size. It's kind of going to be the Toy Birch Ella bag where it has kind of like that canvas and that leather incorporated. Um, I really do like it. I think it's such a cute bag. Would ever go enough for me to buy it or pay full price for. Um, this is probably one of the favorite Burberry bags that I like. Um, part of the new Burberry line. I think the pocket bag is so different. It's so super unique. If you are thinking about one, a Burberry handbag, I will say the pocket bag is probably the favorite one that I do like other than the title bag, which I'll talk about now. Leading me now to the title bag. So the title bag, it did get replaced by the banner bag. And for me, what I love is that it's very classic it's very sophisticated so if you do want to get a new burberry handbag title bag this looks I think that the price point of this one is a lot better than the olympia bag i think the olympia bag i think for a couple hundred dollars more I'm, i would much rather have much rather have the title bag because i feel like it looks more timeless and looks more coarse so even discontinued it's still very classic looking versus it versus the other one because that one looks like a very very trendy bag which i can see not being there in the near future so for me like i said the the title bag has all the elements that i want it's a satchel it has a strap you can make it super versatile if you are looking for that classic toe and maybe you don't want saint laurent maybe you don't want some of the other brands i could see the value in a title bag for me will i go out and buy a title bag anytime soon no if i were to go for a burberry bag right now, honestly i would really a banner bag in the pre-love market i still love that bag i think that the banner bag is such a beautiful and stunning i think it's i know it got just continued a couple years ago but i think it's such a sophisticated and it kind of reminds me of that time era and i think that the, that nova check and the font of, of the banner bag and all the hardware it just screams sophisticated it screams very classy um but you know i want i want to show that it has a little bit of the burberry nova check on the side um i i still love the banner bag i think it's such a beautiful handbag this one is going to be the lola bag which is going to be their style of um, some sort of a flat bag obviously every design your handbag brand um is going to have some sort of a flat bag for me a the tb i know some people say reminds them of toy birch for me since i am in the industry i mean i can tell which one is which but i can see where people get toy birch versus um thomas burberry for me i i don't really like the lola enough for me to buy it I feel like the quilting, I don't like how proportional it is. I think it's kind of weird the way the Lola bag is positioned. I love the chain. I love the, the way the TB is. But as far as the stitching, I am not the biggest fan of it. And I I don't see myself ever checking for the Lola bag. I think that the Lola bag, I think it's a nice incorporation of a flat bag. But I just don't like the actual stitching uh, and quilting detail of the, of the Lola bag. And then the next bag, which is going to be kind of like the Lola bag, it's going to be kind of like their kind of signature one, which is going to be kind of like the TB bag, Thomas Burberry. Like I said, people call it Toy Birch. I can tell the difference, but I can see why people call it a Troy Birch because it's literally TB. And especially here in Texas, when both of these brands have like a lot of weight here, Troy Birch is very popular here in the South, especially in Texas. And Burberry is pretty popular here as well. So they're both of their names draw weight. So I can see the confusion on it. I do love this one. I think this one's very classic looking. I think um, the medium grain leather TB bag, I think it's very beautiful. I think it's done very well. The TB monogram on it, because I like that incorporate a monogram in it but it's not in your face it's very seamless it's very effortlessly it's very chic and you like it but it comes in a medium one i think spending three thousand dollars on a burberry bag for me is something that
something that I wouldn't do. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's really, really worth it in my opinion. Um, another bag that I did want to show. So those are the, the lines for Burberry. So they have the Olympia, the Pocket, the Lola, the Title, and the TB. They also have one that I've seen a lot being talked about. And I wanted to give you my opinions on it. Because I have gotten questions about it. This one's going to be the Leather and Vintage check note crossbody bag for me what kills this bag is the strap i went to high school with this girl she had a fake louis vuitton bag and her louis vuitton bag said like louis vuitton louis vuitton louis vuitton on it and that's what this one kind of reminds me of it, i don't like that the strap it already has like a nice fabric strap which is fine don't like that it says burberry in all caps and the waist photo i can see maybe if it's a little bit smaller but the fact that it has burberry 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 but then you already see the check and then the gold hardware just kind of burberry on it i think it's a little bit too much i wish if the strap was just did not say burberry on it i would say this is a really good bag because it's very classic looking and incorporates a little bit of the nova check and it has a bit of cute hardware on it but for me what really really kills this bag is the burberry on it i'm not the biggest fan of it i'm not the biggest fan of that font in that strap and proportioning everything it just looks kind of it, it's just not a hand like that i will be checking for. also checking the pre-love market and as far as the pre-love market for burberry so if you do want a classic burberry handbag um or if you do want to add a burberry handbag there are a lot of great options like you can literally i'm looking on the fashion file website right now you can get really great deals on burberry handbags i can get the classic banner tote the one that i've been wanting it's called the derby caskin house check medium banner uh tote bag for 9.90 so i can get it for a really really great price point but even like a lot of like the lola bags a lot of the bags that i mentioned that are in their current lineup i can literally get them for over anywhere from 50 to 60 percent off so right here uh, what i see is the grain calfskin tb bag we chose for 21.90 it is in the classic beige color and it is literally uh 900 so that goes to show you if it's a new burberry the condition on it is excellent it looks like it has like a lot of life left in it the fact that you can get it for 900 dollars versus 22 um that goes to show you especially in a neutral color like i said i mean an investment i don't mean like a stock investment because like i said people confuse that i i mean it as a closet investment when i'm if i do keep it for a long time will it be relevant would i still reach for it will the design change i know some people say well that doesn't matter you shouldn't care that matters to me when i buy things like that i want to make sure that i can have it for a certain amount of time i could use it for a certain amount of time i can put it in my closet for maybe a few months and then when i reach for it use for it and i want to be happy to be and bring a smile when i use it so that's why i talk about uh, certain handbags that i always love that i can put in my closet like this one and i can reach for it six months later and it's there waiting for me being being super super happy that i'm gonna wear it out that day. so that's kind of my thoughts and my opinions on the burberry bags like i said i think that they're beautiful i think for the most part burberry bags are really well made i think that they're so nice Harper Ricardo tissue and they have changed up a lot of bags within the last couple of years it's very unstable for me to pay full price for a burberry handbag that's not something that i'm willing to do right now in my collection um maybe i'm willing to pay full price for a burberry soft accessories and maybe if it's a burberry ready to wear item that i really really like but for me to pay full price for any of the handbags even for 10 or 15 percent off i really don't see myself buying it and i'm being really honest and if i do buy a burberry bag it is going to be in the pre-love market i did have this really really big um burberry tote one of my friends sold it to me for like 200 bucks and it retailed for i believe 910 dollars i liked it but then i ended up getting my book tote and then this bag right here so i eventually got rid of it it was a really nice bag but when i did get it it did smell like poppers girl she had some good times in that bag that's something that i want to check out right now and if i do check out for them it will be either in the pre-love market i do see myself maybe adding a fun like i said banner bag in the pre-love market um but right now for full price burberry um i don't think it's worth it guys in my opinion but if you like it i love it like i said that's how i disagree with my opinion doesn't mean i hate you doesn't mean i hate the bag i just i can i just like to see different aspects and different views and for me like i said if you like it then i love it that's the way i see it so i'm gonna end the video here guys i definitely want to hear your thoughts about burberry bags do you check for them do you not check for them i know burberry is very controversial some people are here for the nova check some people are not here for nova check like i said i love me a good burberry ready to wear piece all day every day i will wear burberry 
very ready to wear all day every day i think that they make really really nice ready to wear but their handbags not really it doesn't really do it for me i think there's a, a lot of other designer brands that i would reach for more in the designer space like loewe um bottega veneta chanel that i would reach for a little bit more even givenchy or even a fendi bag than burberry in my honest and humble opinion and yeah i would really 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 i really want to know your thoughts and your opinions girlies because um this one's a hot one when i post it on instagram do you want to see a long shop or a burberry video which i'm both filming right now um about the burberry bags you were telling me no we want to hear about it so here you are girlies i gave it to you so i want to hear your thoughts and your opinions down below say thank you thank you so much for watching this video i'll leave the links for every collection that i talked about today including a uh, pre-left through fashion file and i'll say thank you thank you thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys on the next one and you'll see a long shot video coming up very very soon on the channel go ahead and make the best of april guys thank you so much and have a good rest of your day